This video is not made for kids. Also, hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. I forgot to film an intro as well for Claudine. So here I am and we're gonna uh, skip to the part where I open her from her shipping box now. Okay, here's Claudine. So in the shipping box. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, I opened the tissue paper and here is the box. Ooh. Boxes. The boxes always look so luxurious and just glamorous. Look at the, the sheen, the glossy finish. The purple is so bright. I got the lid off of Claudine's box. Let's take a look at her here. Our first look at Claudine. I hope she looks okay. Three, two, one. So I took the reflective protective thing off so we can take a look with our reflection. Um, I think the face up is really good. I guess I would say the lips are perhaps a little bit printed too low and the left eye, well, at least the misprinted eye kind of gives off an effect of like, oh, she's looking in a direction, but she's not. Um, but overall, she's really pretty. Her hair feels very nice. So I'll be back shortly to show you her out of the box. And here we are, Claudine is out of her coffin and let's first take a look at everything she comes with. So obviously Claudine comes in her fabulous coffin shape, the Lux box here. And in this box, you will find her exclusive brush as well and this purple metallic finish. Um, I leave all my brushes in because I feel like they look very nice and presentable like this. And on the inside of her lid, you will find her diary in this little pocket that has her name in purple as well. The diaries are very luxurious. They are just like the old diaries, which I love. And I'm also thinking of perhaps reading her diary in a separate video. Let me know if you would like me to do that. And we also do have her certificate of authenticity here on one side with the signature of the designer and we also have of course a little message from Claudine herself it is very fun I love that they did this with each of the cards now getting to the actual doll herself she does also come with this really beautiful purse it's actually like chain hang on it is actual chain linked here in gold it's not real gold but it's, it's a gold chain here and it's like it just feels like really nice you know it's a very hefty bag um unfortunately i guess you know it is not real fabric you know it's not like i guess of high value because it is just a pla plastic piece um right but unlike the other purses are fabric like with cleo frankie draculaura lagunas and claudines are the only ones that are still plastic but i do love this little touch with the chain it does make it feel much more luxurious and this little purse obviously is a reference to the Wave 1 jacket of Claudine. Moving on to her face up. She is a gorgeous doll. Look at this screening. Look at the, look at these lashes, girl. Love the positioning of the lashes. They are, it's perfect. Honestly, the best pair of lashes I've seen so far. Um, the, the eyes are very nicely detailed. Look at the iris here. Look at the makeup. It's very simple. The makeup is very, very simple on these dolls, but it, it, it works because the makeup is not the highlight of these dolls. It's the outfits and everything else. So, and she has some purple lipstick. Now, um, I did mention that I think her, uh, left eye here is, um, printed on a little bit wonky. Like if you can tell, it's it just the way it finishes on the inner corner. Um, see right there, you can tell here it's longer here. It's, it's just, it is a little bit printed wonky, uh, misprinted, but it's not that bad. It's okay, I don't mind it too much. Um, now for head accessories, she does come with some really nice looking earrings. This ear has purple earrings and this ear has some gold metallic earrings, some hoops. <laughs> and then she also has a headband in black with some painted on gold um, little spikes. Now her hair, let me get to her hair. It is fabulous right out of the box. I'm telling you like the only hair I've had a problem with is Frankie's. Draculaura's was wavy and it came pretty much styled and so did Claudine's. Um, I heard that Draculaura and Frankie had bad hair so when I got Draculaura out of the box and her hair was fine, I was shook. But I feel like universally everyone has had a good experience with Claudine's hair. It is literally perfect out of the box, the waves, the curls, 
little curl here at the end they are intact even after playing with them they are they don't have any gel whatsoever they are smooth beautiful and i love the hairstyle here it is it is gorgeous and i love that it's still intact you know and she does also have some highlights here in pink on the underside of her hair i love the little touch it really brings the whole outfit together speaking of outfit let's get to it right now so she is wearing some more jewelry here she's wearing a necklace that's very layered here in gold even has some black painted details at the top on the one arm she even has this really chunky bracelet that's like a cuff and then it links to it's connected to this huge charm that's like a little chest it's very hard to make out but it's very detailed and i love that it's just even there it's totally claudine on the other hand she has a really big ring it even has monster engraved here on the actual ring piece isn't that iconic so going down to her coat which is removable oh my god i love it it's very layered it has these fluffiness in different colors like light pink dark pink um sorry light purple light dark purple um i love the way it's like shaded here um and the lining is a neon green it all fits together because it ties back in to the top that she's wearing here underneath of this like black fishnet almost looking like um gold shimmery over top so this is a separate piece and then the top underneath is also a separate piece here that has like a scratch motif in pink and neon green. And those colors really work well together. Green has always been like an accent color for Claudine. So I really love that they uh, went with this. Now her fur coat in the promotional pictures, she's shown to be wearing it like over one shoulder and then uh, off on the other shoulder. So that's how I posed her here as well. I feel like it looks so nice and it just works so well. Moving down to her skirt. Um, it is a high-waisted skirt in its pleathery vinyl material in a purple shade. Um, now ideally there would have been gold studs here and here as well, but they are missing. They, She came with these missing studs. In fact, I even thought that it was on purpose, but no, they're supposed to be here as well. You can even see the indentation uh, from where they are missing, so that's a shame. She literally just came with them missing in the first place, um, so I couldn't have glued them back on. That's a real shame, but I think overall they're still there on the back and here as well. I love the little um, sewing here with the pockets that are not functioning, but still a nice detail. And then it flares out here at the bottom, even with some fishnet to poof it out. Moving down to her shoes, she has these lace socks in black with this nice pattern, like. I don't know how to call this, but it looks really nice. Um, and they actually are kind of socks, but not really. They're supposed to attach via her toes a little bit. Now her shoes are in black, they're boots, and they have a lot of gold painted details with the crescent moon and a bunch of studs. Overall, this uh, shoe and sock ensemble is very much also reminiscent of wave one uh, Claudine. Lastly, of course, she does also come with this uh, unique doll stand. The base is in a metallic purple finish that matches the brush and the um, stand is translucent. And then the clasp is also translucent, but I, uh, I switched it out for this black one because the one that it comes with, the clasp, it has no give, it is not flexible at all and it breaks very easily. So I would advise you to also exchange it or just not use the stands at all because they're gonna break. This part is gonna break and it's a shame because it's expensive, <laughs> so. Okay, so that is basically uh, my review of Claudine, but really quick before we close this review off, we have more Claudines here to bring in for comparison's sake. So we have Claudine Wave 1, I even brought in Claudine Schools Out, and um, yeah, we also have Claudine G2. I just feel like the evolution of Claudine here is just very impressive, right? I mean, I also brought in Schools Out because I feel like she's also like iconic. She's like, this, she's like the second wave Claudine and she's wave one, G2. I don't have uh, the new reboot dolls yet, so I don't have the newest, latest Claudine, but you know, one day I'll try to make a whole video where I compare all of the different generations. Cause I do think it's just awesome and imp 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 I'm just impressed, you know, that they have come this far and we got her first and then we got her then we then we got her and we have her now i just feel like look at these face-ups um 
gorgeous. Oh my God. And I feel like she is one of the best ones. Just look at that fit. Oh my God. But also like, again, taking inspiration like the shoes, look at the shoes, open toes. You know, that's the same. The socks kind of look similar. The jacket, look at the jacket. That's what I was talking about. The jacket is basically like an homage to the fur jacket that she's wearing here. It looks not, not like really the same, like the fur is not the same color, but like, I just feel like it's such a nice, nice little reference that they put in there. Um, and she's just, yeah, I can't believe I have her. And I love that her hair is also longer. And I just love that they also kept the fur motif with her. She has a jacket, a fur jacket. Um, and I really love the pink in her hair as well. I also like that instead of giving her purple jewelry or something like with Dracula and Frankie, she has gold jewelry because for true Monster High fans, y'all know that Claudine's favorite color is gold and not purple as many would probably think, which is understandable because she is all purple girl. No, her favorite color is gold because she is that bitch. But yeah, that was my review of Claudine. I am in love with her. I'm in love with all of these ghouls, but like I knew I was gonna like her because I just love her hair. Her face up's like the prettiest for me. Uh, her little fur jacket, the, the skirt. Oh my God, the skirt. Even though it's missing like studs, I don't care. It's still really pretty. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. You know the drill, leave a like, thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Do you have her? Do you not? Do you like her? Who's your favorite from the Haunt Couture line? Let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more Claudine <laughs> more, more Monster High doll news, doll reviews, and a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with the doll tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time, stay peachy. Kisses!